Hi everyone, Shridhiba from TGT and welcome to another video. Over the past few weeks, Apple have released a number of iOS and iPadOS updates. Some of them are public release, some of them are developer or public betas. All of those releases are usually available over the air and are pretty easy to install. But in some cases, the over the air installation that is the OTA installation fails and that is due to a bad Wi-Fi network or something else. At that situation, you are left with only one option that is to update your iPhone using a computer. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your iPhone using an iPhone 7 and a MacBook Air. So Mac users can follow the steps as I show you, but for the Windows user, you have to download and install one software called iTunes. You may already have that on your device, but if you do not have that, I'll link it in the description box below. Just download it and install it onto your device and then follow the steps. This is the iPhone I was talking about. I'll be using this MacBook Air to install the update to this iPhone 7. Let's go ahead and check the iOS version of the device. As you can see, this one is running iOS 14.8 and we will update it to iOS 15. As you can see here, iOS 15 is available already, but we will not install this update over the air. We will do that using this computer. And to do that, you need to connect this computer to a strong Wi-Fi or wired internet network. Don't try to connect it via your mobile hotspot. We will be connecting this one via this USB to lightning cable. For newer Macs, you can use the USB-C to lightning cable as well. Okay, now let's connect this. Windows users, you need to open the iTunes software at this point. For Mac users, once you connect, open the Finder app. Here at the sidebar, you will see your iPhone. Click here and wait for it to load. If you are connecting for the first time, you may need to allow your iPhone to trust this computer for once. Once we are connected, it says iOS 15 is available for your iPhone. If it doesn't detect the update automatically, you will find a button named check for update. Just click that. Now before you start the update, as I always advise you, do backup your device. Backup will take some time and it depends on available files and photos and personal data you have on your device. Here we can see the backup process is going on. Once it is done, click update. Now this pop-up window says your Mac will update your iPhone to iOS 15 and will verify this update with Apple. Click update. And this is the release note of iOS 15. Click next. And here you have to agree to the terms and conditions. Click agree. Then you have to enter the passcode on your iPhone to continue this iOS update. You need to do that on your device screen directly. Once you do that, click continue and then click next. Now at the bottom of your screen, you will find that the update process has already started. It says extracting software, then preparing and then updating iPhone software. Then it will verify the updated software and then it says updating iPhone firmware. All these steps will take a bit of time. I have first forwarded the process for your convenience. Once this process is done, a pop-up window will say your iPhone has been updated and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. Once you click OK, your iPhone will disappear from the sidebar, but we are not done yet. As you can see, the process is still going on on your iPhone. Do not interrupt this process. This might take some time, so wait patiently. Once complete, your iPhone will reboot just type in the passcode and it will reappear at the sidebar or at the iTunes window. You can see here the iOS version is iOS 15 and at the bottom you can find the available storage on your device. Now let's minimize it. Right click here and click eject iPhone. Remember to do this step before you disconnect your iPhone. Let's check the iOS version on the iPhone itself. 
Here you can see the device has been successfully updated to iOS 15. By the time you are watching this video, a newer iOS version might be available as well. You can update to that version using this same method. This device is running nice and smooth after the update as it should be. So guys, if this video is helpful, do hit that like button and share it with your friends. And please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I will see you in my next one. Peace.